if you could choose one heavyweight boxer in history to fight, who would it be? Oof. Uh, I mean, the Maha, even Mike Tyson says Muhammad Ali is the best fighter ever. Um, I almost met Muhammad Ali at Fifth Street Gym in Miami. I almost met him. It didn't happen, but I, like I said, I got to hang out with Angel Dundee. But I would say Muhammad Ali, because at the time he was, um, I mean, he was a world. Everybody, even now, Muhammad Ali. Everybody knows the name Muhammad Ali in the entire world. He's the one man in boxing everybody knows. You know, Muhammad Ali. You know, so perhaps the most famous face of the the twentieth century. You know, everyone could recognize his face. And you're a boxer. I mean, when people think about boxers, they think about some mean, ah, I'm going to kill you, ah, boxer, you know, kill everybody. Bro, no, man. You're... Yeah, a lot less. I don't know, bro. I, I just think boxing for me has been an amazing platform to – and I haven't been able to do the things I wanted to do outside of boxing. I would love to be, I would love to be commentating. I would love to still be involved in like some type of big boxing podcast or just talk the game. I love it. You know, I love, I love just talking to sports and fly out to the UK, sit ringside for the fights and just talk to the people in the crowd. And I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just not in my cards or whatever, but I would be great at it. It would be amazing. I would love it. It would be a great, great opportunity to do something like that, but it's about timing. Maybe right now my life is not the right time, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, I, I think I'd be really good at that, doing something like that. Is, is there also, it, so, so on the back of that, so you mentioned Marley would be the, the one box to share a ring with. On the back of that, is there a boxer you think you would have made a great rivalry with heavyweight boxing over the years? If you could choose one heavyweight boxer, they, like Arley had Fraser. Um, you know, you have those great rivalries. Is there a boxer that you could that you think for through time where you think yeah this guy I would have had some great fights with had a an Ali Fraser type rivalry? I I would never put myself in the same category as an Ali Fraser because I've never reached that pinnacle in boxing. Um, but a rivalry, you know, with someone. Yeah. Because yeah. um, that's what boxing was sort of missing now, isn't it? We're missing those sort of great rivalries, those great trilogies. Um, that we used to like see. The Fury, like, like the Fury Wilder. That's the best yeah, trilogy we've time, seen. Yeah. A very, you know, Gotti Ward. I mean, Gotti Ward is probably one of the greatest yeah. trilogies in the history of the whole boxing. Um, I don't know if I would have a trilogy like that. I've had some good trilogies in, in, in the amateur days. Because in the amateur days, it's a small circle. And you fight each other a lot. Um, and I've, I've had a couple guys I fought three and four times. And we would get in there and just start cracking each other. I mean, and as an amateur, it's not as pretty as a professional boxing. So you're just in there just teeing away at each other. You know, um, I would say more than the amateurs. <sighs> but who I can, I could probably have a great, I would have a great trilogy with Danny Stash. Him and I would stand <laughs> Him and I would stand in the ring and just beat each other up. Have you guys fought each other? A while ago. Years ago. Very, it actually has been a long time. Uh, we were supposed to go last week, and uh, he, he couldn't make it. Um, so in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing something together. I stopped for a long time. My last fight was in was against David Allen in Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. that was quite a few years ago. Uh, Six, that was 2000 2016. So crazy story. I ruptured my Achilles. I had surgery and my wife left me and she literally took all the money, closed bank accounts and whatever, whatever. Uh, and I got a call from Eddie Hearn to fight and I had literally no, I just had surgery three months, three months before this fight. So if you watch the fight, I had no, I should not have been there. My doctor's like, no, absolutely not. But I, I did it. I fought. It was terrible. But David Allen is terrible. I would knock, I would knock that kid out, bro. That would be a great trilogy. He has a great, 
He's, he's he another great, great character as well, isn't he? He's got a great style. We're the same size. We would sit there and we would just throw. I beat him. We fought, I think, three rounds. I beat him the first round with one foot. I didn't even do anything. And I beat him. Um, but I got paid for that fight. And I lived off that money for two years. I mean, I was, I was very, very, very hard off. I lost everything, and that, and any, any, they, I've never shared this story ever. Right now, they don't even. Yeah, I, I had surgery December twenty first. I think I fought him in April, and the doctor's like, "You cannot. You're out of your mind. Your tendon just is still." I was supposed to fight Andy Ruiz, um, December fifth on Showtime for the, uh, the title, and I popped my Achilles, and um, I fought. Yeah, that was my last fight. And then I didn't fight for a very long time, <clears throat> and I was done, you know. And I got a call from Russia in, like, August last year. Hey, are you interested in coming over to this league we have? I was like, no, hell no, I'm not coming to Russia. But after thinking about it, I'm like, you live one time, it's an opportunity, let's go. And Russia is incredible. Moscow is amazing. The people are great. It's an amazing, amazing country. And um, I'm very, very happy that I went. I went again in December. And I was supposed to be going the end of March, so whether or not that happens, I'll be going at least a couple times this year. So, um, yeah, so I'm pretty active, still staying busy. But when you start acting, uh, I haven't fought in such a long time. When I started back up boxing again, you start to get little aches and pains in your shoulders and your knees, and you're like, oh man, like your body's not used to going and banging on a heavy bag for ten rounds and putting in the miles again. You're like, oh, you got to take your time. As you get older, everything changes. Recovery is different. And, you know, so, but I will always be in love with boxing. Boxing will never leave on my life, you know, so.